One Punch Man Season 2 is retired by Madhouse, and now we've got another Studio JC staff working on it. And yes, this is bad news. Of course, this is bad news. If I can honestly open up and say one thing, this is a downgrade for sure. It's not that JC staff is a bad studio per se. I mean, some of the recent stuff I've seen from them is fairly good, like Food Wars, Prison School, Don Machi. Like, if you look at these series, they were made pretty well. So it's not something on JC staff's part, and I don't know if they kept pitching the idea that like, you know, hey guys, we could take care of this project if you ever have problems or if there's like budgeting issues, et cetera, et cetera, because we know the amount of money they poured into that first One Punch Man season was absolutely insane. And one thing that's constantly a problem in the anime industry is the amount of money it takes to actually make these shows. It's a lot. Like anime, believe it or not, is an art form that is very expensive to create, and that's probably why we love it so much. It's not about JC Staff, it's about Madhouse, because Madhouse is a studio that could turn something that people love into an instant classic. Okay, what they did with the first season of One Punch Man was absolute insanity. They literally revived Hunter x Hunter. They revived the hell out of that story. I don't care what anybody says. And if you go a little further back, you got anime like Claymore, one of my favorites. You got anime like Black Lagoon, one of my favorites, right? I recommend anybody to check out these shows. You even got Monster, and Monster had such beautiful artwork. So, like, Madhouse is just such a brilliant studio. It could give so much more life to series, and because they already took, you know, One Punch Man the first season in their hands, it feels like a little bit of a letdown now that they're not working on the continuation because you know even if we're taking quality out of the debate, it's going to be a little different. You want it to be very, very fluid. 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 No, this isn't the end of the world though. It could have been worse. You know, it could have been Toy Animation <laughs> taking up one bunch man like... Granted, when they want to do their thing, they can, but they oftentimes budget and, uh, you know, the quality dips easily when they do that. You know, if I could try and explain what Madhouse did with One Punch Man, I'll, I'll put it to you like this. One Punch Man alone as a story was very enticing. It had a, a unique style to it. It was very funny. Um, it was very simple, you know, and uh, it got a lot of people on board. But you see, what Madhouse did with the series is that because Alone One Punch Man is a story that isn't that serious, right? And a lot of people might not care that much about the characters as a result of that. You know, a lot of times when you make a comedy story or you make a story that's just all over the place and it relies on certain like themes to kind of like keep going, the story as a result of that kind of gets thrown under the bus and you don't care as much about the characters. But what Madhouse did is that it took the story that wasn't that serious and it made it serious enough to where you care that much more about the characters. You already have to understand that because JC Staff is gonna be working on this, the fights are gonna dip. And if there's one thing that Madhouse did for One Punch Man is that it gave it like such high quality fights, like stuff that I honestly felt like, let's say, you know, One Punch Man, the first season didn't come out yet, I would feel like, okay, this doesn't really deserve this quality like stuff. Just because the fights were that good. But because of that, it didn't only have to rely on the comedy and on the, all the stupid themes to kind of get people on board. It also packed a punch in other departments. Like the fights alone were great. You could go on YouTube and look at these fights alone and not even know anything else about the story or the characters and you still will enjoy it. That's how good this stuff was, right? And you actually cared about the characters. You cared about Saitama. You cared about Genos. There's still so many memes to go around today. Now, granted, some of the enemies in One Punch Man were kind of like one-dimensional and stupid, but then again, that's part of the story, right? I don't want them to change the actual core of the story. I just want them to do the right thing. So this was such a hit that one, Shueisha, they're not gonna allow this to sink. And I think they know what they're doing, and I think they know better than us. So I'm happy this is still on track. I'm glad we're getting news about this, right? Whereas like, for instance, when it came to like the second season of Attack on Titan, I just gave up on caring because it's like, there was no news to come out and there was no second season in sight that to care about it was a migraine. But no, we're getting news. We're, we're gonna get this season. It's coming out soon and it's gonna dip a little bit in quality, 
but I think we're still gonna love it, okay? You know, this isn't a bad studio by any means. It's just not Madhouse. The fights aren't gonna be as good. Uh, the music probably won't be as good. Um, everything won't be as good for the most part, but it'll still be pretty good. And it'll still be one of the solid anime of the season. They'll probably be able to connect as to the first season and they just won't, you know, take it in these crazy directions and, you know, to where it's almost unrecognizable. I don't see that happening. Now, there are One Punch Man fans that do see that happening and they're just like, you know, their worlds are destroyed and shattered right now. It's like the apocalypse. Yes, there's a different director now. There are going to be the same quality animators in certain cases, but even then, even when Madhouse had this in their hands, there was still a lot of outsourcing going on, meaning that there's still a lot of people that weren't working for Madhouse working on One Punch Man. So I expect the same thing going on here, and I expect them to throw a pretty good chunk of money behind this, and it's gonna translate, and it's gonna be some solid. That being said, tell me what you guys think about this. Are you just happy to get some One Punch Man season two news? This is one of the first pieces of news we got in a while, or are you just really depressed at the fact that Madhouse isn't going to be working on this, which is kind of sad again. Fights are definitely gonna dip, but this isn't a bad studio. JC staff has done some pretty cool stuff. 